What's up guys, Parks Plumbing. It's Sunday, we've got an emergency call out. So we've had the call this morning, got a lady with a non-flushing toilet. It's her only toilet in the house, so we need to go and sort it. So if it's a siphon, then uh, I've got one on the van, we can get that changed over. I think this video is going to be more for like DIY, we're going to go through uh, the steps on changing a toilet siphon. Alright, as exciting as that sounds, let's get into it. Right, call to this toilet, not flushing. Siphon in here then. So, first step isolate the water. Handy little valve down here. You can't see that. That's to the side. Horizontal, off. Good. I'm going to take this nut off here. That's onto the um, the floor master in the valve. Let's look to the other side. That's your overflow pipe there. So when the water reaches the highest level, it goes down that pipe into the overflow. So we'll just disconnect that. Two bolts underneath, that one there, that one there, let's get them undone and that will release the system from the toilet. So we should be ready to pop off now. So don't worry about taking our water out because it's sealed. So it should just lift off now and then we can drain it down to the sink. Two screws at the back. That's going to be holding that back to the wall and get those off. Cool, so now we've got that out. So we're looking to take this big nut off here, the white one. Remove that. And I'll take the siphon out. Flush out. There we are. 
let's see how. Right, so I'll strip it off. So the reason why it isn't flushing. See the split in the bag there? So when that's pushing up, it's pushing water. You know, when you're using a flush handle, pushing water up, it can because it's split. You know, a lot of people will replace these, but this type, non-maintainable. So what we're gonna do is just put a Viva sanitary one in there. All right, let's do it. These are my preferred brand for any um, any toilet spares. Viva, this is Skylo 3. Fantastic siphon. So I'm gonna split it apart. So if this goes in the future, you can actually split it apart at the top here and maintain it from the top of the toilet without breaking it down. That's what I like about these. So let's get this one installed. So, rubber washer, see it there. So that stays where it is. That goes at the top side of the, uh, the cistern. And the back nut goes underneath. All right, so let's do that now. That flat, flat edge on. So two screws. You can see it just behind there like that. You can see it just behind there like that. Okay. We'll put them on after. I'm gonna get this back on. So make sure the plate is nice and straight. And tight first. And get your big grips, big nipex. Just give it a nip. Not looking to go way too tight with this. So you feel rubber squeezing it back. be a tight fit but tight the better. We don't know washer. Just make sure it lines up that's all. So I don't know what's going on. And in there. So I just want to start it as well, maybe a couple of threads, just to make sure you got it in line. Right now that's started, I can put my bolts back on. So before I tighten them up all the way. Just to line it up. Right, you can screw them back up now and pull. So I just want to be on tight, but you know, give them some welly.
Another good thing about Skylo as well, you can adjust the level of your siphon. So a little handle here, you can actually bring it up and down. Pretty cool. So we're all connected in. All the stuff now is to turn it back on. That's it for me. Alright, so that's it full. And the first flush, let's have a look. Good for me. And that's it. So, new cycle installed. Thanks for watching, guys. Now we're back to.